hello guys my name is Daniel Prince and I'll be a tutor for this introductory course to Photoshop before we start I would like you to write down just two things that you want to accomplish by the end of this short course this course I'm gonna take you through 10 effective videos which you are gonna be learning a lot on Photoshop so let's get started immediately don't forget write down two main things that you would like to get to you would like to know when you are done learning this photoshop so firstly the um, we're gonna attach the link below where you're gonna download the photoshop download this photoshop and install your machine once you are done installing photoshop the first thing you're gonna do, love to do is to open this photoshop on your machine right away all right photoshop has open so what i'm gonna be teaching you today is how to create a file editing space in photoshop or even how to add photoshop is the basic of this is the basic settings you need to know how to do this so right away here is how to do it click on create new after you click on create new you will see width and you will see dimensions up here when you see width and you see dimension uh, height you can either add or whatsoever that is your choice but the first thing that i want to show you is centimeters you can click on if you know how to measure in centimeters you come and click on centimeters if you know pixels you come and click on pixel if you go if you know inches you come and click on inches if you know points or pickers that is your choice you can do that then another thing that i like to show you is um is resolution resolution is very important for machines that are slow if you have a machine that is slow i always advise you to 150 resolution or 300 but when you are done designing and you want to print you have to set it back to 300 resolution if not the quality of your printing won't be good the the third thing that i'm gonna show you is uh rgb color rgb color rgb color is mostly when it is being used for online purposes mostly when it's being used for online purposes the cmyk is 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 when it's used for printing once it's for printing it's good to design on cmyk then now the gray scale which is the last one i'm going to talk about is where you want to do a black and white designing a black and white designing you use the great scale sorry for that so well i'm gonna if i want to design i'm not designing now but if i wanted to design i could have used the rgb color then screen right down you see background content this background content is you can either be black if you want your background you're black you click on black background color is your choice you come and click on the color that you want uh if you want uh transparent nothing at the back which is what i'm gonna take you click on it then now height and width let's go back up near height and width near centimeters i want my width to be 10 and i want my height to be 10 then now I you, it's also going to name what you want to do i can say maybe introductory course to photoshop so that is the basic thing you want it to be orientated but immediately when you always write the dimension you is either going is choose the either portrait or landscape where you see highlighted like that so you after that you click on click, create immediately you have created a dash uh, your dashboard okay let's say that maybe something happened and you want to reduce the size or change the dimension how do you do that it's very simple you come and click on image from image you click on image size and on image size you cannot change it to how you want to do for example let's say i wanted to change it to um to uh i i wanted to design and maybe my dimension was a lot of more landscape so i wanted to add my width to let me say 15 centimeters it has already changed all i have to do is to click on okay and you see it's gonna immediately change okay let me also assume that maybe when you change uh when you create a, you wanted a background at the back and you did not put it how do you do that sometimes it's easy you just come near yeah, this shape i'm not supposed to show you this it's just a bonus okay make sure you thank me for that um you come right down here to uh create uh, to this um create new field or adjustment layer you click on it 
when you click on it you click on solid color if you want a gradient you click on gradient but we're not studying gradient today so click on solid color so you can play on the top of background you want and that is it for today guys please if you never understood how to create a file or a working spot on photoshop please kindly comment below ask your question we are always available to answer 24 on 7. thank you very much see you in the next class Hello guys hello guys you are welcome to the next tutorial i hope you enjoyed the last class with me last time if you are sure that i did that but go to social media and comment that you like daniel's uh you like daniel as your graphic as your graphic designer and also as your tutor so all right let's head on okay let's say that this is where we ended our class last time and now the, what do you do what are the some basic tools that you need to do i'm gonna take you through at least five must use basic tools as a graphic designer and as a beginner what is the first tool the first tool first is the move tool which the shortcut for it is v so any any place any tool that you are any place that you see v you just click on it and where you see this red highlighted by the corners like that right down you you know that, that is where you always see the tools and just a quick tip just a quick tip maybe you may not like the tools function at this corner and you want to like have at least more tools or less tools when you come to windows from windows you click on workspace under this workspace you see essential you see 3d you see graphics and web you see motion you see painting and you see photography what does it mean maybe what you wanted to do is see some graphic and web because i'm doing graphic designing if it's that i wanted to do with photography editing i had i needed to come and click on this photography immediately you see the tools at this corner will change where you see this highlighted this uh, red line highlighted uh, the tools at this corner will change so if i go back there i click on workspace and i click on 3d means that it will give me the functions for 3d to do a good 3d but on today we are studying graphics so i will quickly go back i click on workspace and i click on graphics and web so it will bring me back here so the most basic tool is is the move tool after the uh, the move tool we have the text tool so let me the, the shortcut for text tool is t remember the shortcut for the move tool is v for example let me press v on my keyboard you will notice the changes let me say like click on v it's gonna go, go to the move tool i'll also show you more functions on move tool as we get along so this is a text tool when you click the text tool and you hold you will see the horizontal type tool you see the vertical type tool you see the vertical type max mass tool you see the horizontal type mass tool so now let's just do something quick to all of them horizontal tool let me say web tech academy web tech academy it's like it's on blue so i will quickly change the color to white oops what else to change my phone okay okay how to increase a text like this on photoshop it's simple drag you have to just click on it then you hold shift and control for other photoshop version they don't need it but if you drag yours and yours is like making something like this you just have to hold shift and control you drag it and increase you see how it will be jacking with ease you see how it's jacking with ease because i'm holding shift and control so now another important pattern on on this on this um on this uh cause is like you see, you notice at my corner you see this character box huh how there are other photoshops that may not always have it when you open it so how do you put yours how do you add it you have to come to windows on that windows you click on character you will see, you will see it will pop up there right so if it, if it, if it's not showing there means that it show that this character button is not click all right so now We'll go to the next one click and hold on the t then click on the vertical type tool vertical type tool so immediately you see as i clicked on vertical type tool, you see what happens so let me run my web tech academy and see the type of version that it's gonna give me 
so you see that it's a little bit different from it yeah due to time i'll have to go to the next tool but trust me we're gonna come back more on this text tool on the next course all right the next thing that i'm gonna show you is the eraser tool the eraser tool for example maybe i'm editing a background and maybe um i wanted to touch something and to do some shapes let me do it but before i do that eraser tool permit me come back to the shape tool the shortcut remember our shortcut the shortcut for move move tool is v the shortcut for text tool is t now the shortcut for shape tool is u immediately you click on u it's gonna bring you to the shape the, the shape tool so to see other tools you have to click and hold to so click and hold then when you click and hold you're gonna see the rectangle tool you're gonna see the eclipse tool you see the python tool you see the line tool i see con custom custom shape tools if i click on custom shape tools and i go and, and i look up i'm gonna see other tools there like this and that but now um the tools they are limited meaning that we we'll need to install more tools then which we are gonna do that we're gonna do that I, I assure you that we are gonna do that so but for the meantime let's concentrate on what we have here at hand hope you are enjoying the class all right so now the the, the shape tool let me say i want to draw a, a, a polygon tool what do i do simply click on your polygon immediately click on the polygon you come up to your dashboard and you draw what you want to do there let me say this this is what i want to do how do you change the color look right up i mean let me just say corner select right click on fill click on white you see the color changes any color you want to click color changes let me say for example you saw a color somewhere i wanted to pick it. you wanted to pick it for example if you look down on um, this uh, vmix app you see this yellow i need this yellow what do i do click on this uh color picker you see, click on the color picker you can go wherever and you pick the color that you want to do you want to pick it let me say i needed this uh um unfortunately for me i don't have a lot of colors here to pick it from but i believe you understand because immediately you like click it changes automatically it changes automatically so i'm gonna click ok and notice which is gonna change automatically so that is three we have two more tools to go now let's go back to the eraser tool so the shortcut remember our shortcut the shortcut for move tool is v shortcut for text tool is t shortcut for shape is u who can guess the shortcut for the eraser tool i guess you have always stolen the answer is e so now when you click and hold on the eraser tool you are gonna see other tools such as the eraser tool bagan erase erase eraser remover magic eraser tool so today i'm gonna show you two but i promise on the next uh, uh, course i'm gonna lay more emphasis on all these tools please so now the eraser tool what do you do if i click on this it's gonna tell me to rasterize it it's impossible to erase when you have not rasterized so now what do you do just click on ok you're gonna see it then now you can rasterize to the shape uh, as you actually see it's erasing right that's the magic don't know, just know that erase is for erasing erase is for erasing voila beautiful so now let me say i have two shapes right let me just draw quick shapes quick two shapes like this then then i mesh them out oh, sorry big language how to mesh mesh is just to hold uh, right click uh, hold the two any two shape and, and you left click and you click on come right down and say mesh image shapes it's gonna automatically mesh it unfortunately for me i needed to rasterize it i don't know if you understand rasterize but i'm still gonna do it anyway so to rasterize it's gonna you just have to click on convert to a smart object or rasterize but i promise i'm gonna emphasize more on this just try to follow as simple as it is okay i'm gonna rasterize this then i'm gonna merge it the shortcut to mesh is simply come control e if you don't understand control e you can just like come to right down here after release from isolation you're gonna see merge layers there so click on mesh layers it's gonna mesh the purpose for me for doing this is to show you how to use the magic eraser tool 
so to do that is very easy you have to hold then you come right down to magic eraser tool then immediately you click on it you're gonna see what's gonna happen bam it's magic right to go back right you have just click ctrl z or you have to come to edit to undo right you see the undo and the redo buttons uh, last date other stuffs up there so let me do it again you see it's coming out so that is what eraser tool does immediately you, call, you hold and you shift we have to understand that to do this you must rasterize it and how do you rasterize it you have to left click immediately you left click you see on rasterize layer or rasterize to style let me just highlight it with this red the, the reason why you see it's not highlight it's not a this it's not active because the image the, the image has already been rasterized so i believe you're understanding me please if you don't understand anything comment below comment below and also write your question down on your last day of the training session i'll have a live session with you one on one so now the last not the least i hope you are remaining the shortcuts reminding the shortcuts the shortcut for this one is e all right the gradient tool the shortcut for the gradient tool is G. So I'll simply click on the gradient to show you how it works. For example, let me say I have my gradient up here. Let me click on the gradient. You see the number of gradients. I have a lot of gradients actually. I have a lot of them that I've created. Some are actually installed in the Photoshop. So the first thing for you to do is to select the gradient that you want. And it's the simplest way to select is just to click on it. So immediately you click on it, it's going to be showing you this plus sign that I need to draw something. So once you draw, you see something like this, and that is the magic. But now, note, 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 note this. Before you do this, it's always advisable for you to create an empty layer. What do I mean by empty layer? If you go right down where you see this red, where I've circled in this red sign, you are gonna see create a new layer. Simply click on it. From there, now you can go now and you create your gradient, and it's far more better. Maybe when you have created, you can now come here, you click on the on the space and maybe you try to retouch touch some things and see what is happening all those stuff that one is your choice and however you want to do it is your choice so that is it for today's tutorial please make sure i hope you love this video 